Hi guys, welcome to C Taking Shortcut Videos. Uh, this is this is a sample video just to give an overview about the things how we're going to work. In total, we are going to have around 48 hours of workshops, which will only talk about the shortcuts. And this is just a 10 minute trailer or an overview of what you're going to get in the total everything. Fine. So will, we're going to have for cat, we are going to have workshop for almost everything. So equation, which I mean the dirty one, because whatever you're doing in equations are not going to come in cat. Fine. So polynomials, functions, graph, they are all part of equations. So I'm going to cover all of them in equation workshop for us. So numbers, probability, permutation, combination, geometry, arithmetic, DI. So that's for the quant purpose. Trust me, these 24 hours workshop is more than sufficient to crack any cutoff for any exam. Not only CAD, but other exams as well. So, but I'm, I'm only going to talk about the shortcuts. There are no basics in this thing. Only shortcuts and common sense. Fine. For, for, first of all, there is nothing, no concept like common sense, like shortcuts, but they are only common sense. I'm going to explain you to, today how it works. Then followed by a verbal ability, grammar, sentence correction as one workshop, para jumbles, vocab as one workshop, reading comprehension, and logical reasoning. So there again, this is again enough to clear the cutoff for your verbal section. Followed by towards the end, I'll take one week before the CAT exam, I'll take a revision workshop for quant and verbal. That will encompass everything which you have done so far. Fine. In fact, this workshop is happened after my CAT one day one. So you get a clear cut idea what to expect in CAT exam. Fine. So that's how I'm going to break my 48 hours. Trust me, it's only about the shortcuts. All right. So moving on to the geometry thing. This video, I'm going to cover the geometry part. So this is your traditional geometry. Angles, circles, triangles, areas, menstruations, volume, trigonometric coordinate. But end of the day, if the visual geometry, which is my shortcut for the for the four next four hours is basically talking about angles, sides, and areas. Yeah. If you basically see these are the your question. The, your question might look like this, but whatever they are asking is basically either they are asking about angle, or they are asking for side, or they are asking for area. For example, if I pick up trigonometry, they are either asking for the angle, or they are asking for side. If I talk about the coordinate geometry, they are either asking for the side, or they are asking for area. So your scope is fixed. Fine. So rather than looking at individual topic, I want you to look at this thing. Fine. I can solve. We can solve every question like this using a shortcut or co common sense. Fine. So these are the ten concepts which are our main concepts which will cover everything in uh, geometry. Fine. So visual geometry is the main main concept. I'm going to pick up last 20 year CAD paper from 1990 till today. I'm going to solve all of them using one of these shortcuts. Fine. There are a lot of people who claim that they know shortcuts for cat and all even they will give you some example of them but most of the time what they do they have made the shortcuts for a particular type of question or the shortcut is only valid for that particular question the moment i change the values the moment i tweak the question your formulas or your shortcuts go go for a toss fine so avoiding that that kind of thing i'm going to give you 10 logical concepts so these 10 concepts are more than sufficient to crack any kind of a geometry question fine so the first now i'm going to give you just the first sample of that uh, so today we can talk about the uniform figures. Uniform figure is basically any figure which is a uh, uniform in area. So let's talk about this first example. So please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Find the area, find the ratio of the area of the sector to that of the circle. If I try to remember our formulas, there was a formula for area of a sector was theta by 360 into the area of the this thing. Fine. So we are looking at this angle theta by 360 so 60 by 360 1 by 6 so what i want you to do now is for any uniform figure we can break into parts for example this uniform figure i can break into six equal parts because it's 60 degree this is one sixth of the total yeah anything suppose if there's a square i can break the square into four equal parts or if i cut the square like this i'll again get four equal parts so any kind of a uniform figure if you are cut if you are cutting from the center you are getting equal parts. So the same thing here. So if I am cutting here into six parts, so this this sector is nothing but one by six. Yeah. So basically same thing, but more of a common sense point of view. This was my total circle. All I did was I've just removed everything and I've le left with my basic circle. Understand? All right. So what do you mean by uniform figure? Concept of uniform figure is basically anything can be a circle, can be a square, can be a rectangle, can be a hexagon, can be any regular polygon. So this rule, which I'm going to tell now, is valid across the board. Is basically we are cutting everything into parts. Let's start with another example. 
in, in the following question find the ratio of the area of the shaded portion to the non shaded portion fine shaded region to that that of the total rectangle fine so can i say one thing that this area is nothing but half of everything all i have to draw is i have to draw the line fine which will make it equal part so 50% is this area 50% is this area so the ratio become half yep second basic question i'm going to bring the basic question only so that you can get the flavor of everything then i'll move to the actual cat question we're going to do everything to, to, to today so don't worry just be with me for next 5 to 10 minutes fine next question again please pause the video and try it yourself next question now again we have to cut something we have to cut the uniform into parts now the moment i know this is 20 and 10 i can break them this is a center line i can break this in like this so this area and this triangle this this figure are equal fine now, this figure is for the half of that so this area is what 25 percent total rectangle area was 20 to 10 200 so this is 25 percent of that which is 50 now the problem comes where to draw the line so let's look at this question again so look at the question again so we are looking for where to cut the thing into parts so where to cut that parts is again the biggest challenge so challenge to solve the challenge the easiest way to cut the part is wherever the line is touching the circle the the, the figure we are going to cut from there if it is line is touching here, we'll cut from here. If the line is touching here, we'll cut it from here. All right. So where it says so cutting here, so cut we'll cut it here. So half of again half ka half one fourth. So this is twenty five percent or one by four of two hundred, which is fifty. All right. Next question again. Please pause the video and try to do it yourself. Find the percentage of shaded region. If the length of find the percentage. Now we are looking for percentage. Now can you try it yourself? Again, we are cutting here, so joining here. So this so this become half. Again, we have to cut like this, so half ka half. Now, this part is what? 25%. This part is further half of that. So, 25 ka half is 12.5, 1 by 8. Yep. So please, please read the video. Trust me, it's very, very basic concept. I'm going to revise everything once we're done with all the four questions. Now, again, fourth, last question. Total area of this thing is 240. Find the area of the shaded region, this part. Now, this is not half of this is one third, one third, one third. No problem. We'll again do that. This is one third. Now, we are talking about one third of this. Now, again, I have to cut into half. So, one third ka half, one by six. Again, half of that. So, we're looking at one by twelfth. One by twelve of 240, 20. I can also use my normal um, method as well. Like this area is 240. So, I can assume this is 80. This is 40. Yeah, it's my wish. I can assume anything. So, now here I'm looking at one third of that. So, I'll take one third of 80. So this side will become 80 by 3. Yeah, this side. I'm only talking about this part. Because I can use the formula half length into half base into height. Height is how much? 20. So half base into height. I can also use the same formula to solve, solve this question. Fine, we'll get a similar answer. Fine, so avoid this thing. Trust me, this is a 10 10 second job. Solving the, uh, any geometry question will be a 20 second job. Let it be of an angle, let it be of circle, let it be of anything. You don't need to remember any theorems, you don't need to remember any formulas once you are doing this thing. So let me just summarize what we have done so far. The first question, the type of question again, something you have to look at. First question, we are looking at the area of the ratio of the area. So total area divided by the area of the particular triangle. Second area was given in meter square. Find that particular area. Third question, we have to find the percentages. Fourth question, area is given. We have to find how much will be this shaded portion. So these are the four questions. You will get one question out of these four in the exam. Fine. So we have done fairly basic question to start with. Let's move on to the next challenge. Then ne ne next question. Again, now let's try this question. Trust me, it's a very good question. Pa pause the video and do it yourself. Find the area of the sh shaded portion. All I have to do is this line. The moment it is touching here, I would draw the line. So this is half half. This is half half. Fine. So a total area is half. Or one more thing I want you to look at. Can I move this thing and break this thing and move it here? How did this will look like? So this will probably look like this rectangle comes here. And my this thing, if I move it here, will become like this. So this is your white region. This is, is your green region, which, which are basically equal. So either you can cut or you can adjust. So these are the two things I want you to introduce now. So earlier we just talked about the cut. Now I'm talking about adjust so first either you can only cut cut here and then equal parts done or i can adjust i can cut into this part and move this part here 
so that I can visually feel that these two triangles were equal. So this white triangle and this green triangle are basically equal. Alright, moving on to the next question. Can you pause the video and try to solve this question? Find the area of the shaded portion. Again, very simple question. The movie, wherever it is touching, draw the line. So it's touching here, I'll draw the line here. So half, this, this one was half. Half ka half, this is one fourth. This part total, this part is one fourth. Again, we're looking at half of that. Now, if I look at the last figure, this triangle is nothing but this triangle. Yeah. So again, half ka half. The, this area will be one by eight. Why 1 by 8? Now this part is half of the total. This is half. Now further I did half ka half. This is 1 4. This total is 1 4. Now this part is 1 by 8. So I'm looking at half of 1 by 8. So 1 by 16. This is again 1 by 8. So I'm looking at half of that 1 by 16. Fine. Or there's one more method to do, to do this question. I can break everything into equal parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8. So I can divide them into say 8 equal parts. Now I'm looking at half of the 1 8th and further half of 1 8th. So 1 8th ka half is 1 by 16th plus 1 by 16th is basically 1 by half. So whichever method you are using, end of the day, same thing. Alright. So moving on to the next question. Please again pause the video. Now I'm complicating the question. Trust me, this question is a little bit more complicated than the other question, than the last question. Can you please pause the video and try to solve this? Fine. Again, very simple question. Half. So half gone. Remaining. Now, in this case, instead of finding out whatever is remaining, I'm saying whatever is removed. So half is removed here. Fine. Now, this, this value is half. This value is further half of half. Yeah. So again, half gone. Half, half gone. So one fourth, fourth gone from half. Remaining is what? One fourth. So this area is one by four. Why? Now, now here you have to use the formula. That's why I recommend you to do the basic before you jump onto this thing. Any area, any triangle with a common base <coughs> and same height would be equal. So basically, if this is one triangle and this is one triangle, if both of them have got the same height and same base, they'll be equal. So same thing I'm using here. So again, one fourth gone, one fourth gone. So now I'm using one more con concept. Now, first we talked about cut method, then we talked about the adjust method. Now I'm giving you one more method, which is the removing. Remove the area which you don't know which we don't want. So one half, 50% gone, quarter gone, remaining is what? Quarter? That's all. 1 by 4. Trust me, 30-30 second job to solve this question. Trust me. Now this is one of the questions which you can expect to get. This is actually a cat question of one of the uh, years which is uh, not very far from now. So all right, can you try this question now? What is the ratio? So again, there will be question on ratio or percentages or finding the area. Three things you can expect. Fine. Again, same thing here. First thing, this touching here, I'll cut here. So half, half. So this is one fourth area of the total. So this was total half, half ka half gone, one fourth. Now it's touching here, so I'll cut here. So this is how much gone? Again, one fourth. Sorry, one fourth ka half. Yep. So this part is one one fourth, one fourth ka half, one by eight. So one by eight gone. Now in this part, how to find this area? Now if I look at this rectangle. How much is this? Half of that. So half ka half, this part is again further one fourth. So one fourth gone, one fourth gone, one by eighth gone. Fine. Whatever is remaining is my answer. Alright. So again, one more way to do this thing is looking at the percentage. So one by four, one by four, half gone. Half gone. So I'm left with half. Half minus one by eight. So remember this. Remaining is three by eight. Trust me, all your question will be a 20, 20 second, 10, 10 second job the moment you are breaking them into parts. That's exactly the logic of Vedic Maths as well. Vedic Maths says break the calculation into parts. So that's exactly what we are doing in the visual diagram. We are trying to visualize everything. We are trying to cut everything and draw. 